We are here on a lovely 4th of July with noted art historian and critic Eric Glendon Shea and noted artist one James Durney. Mr. Shea, would you care to explain to the naive public what transpires at this moment? Well, as I recently observed, looking at Frank Stella, the award-winning artist's work yesterday at the Toledo Art Museum, he made the point that not all canvases are rectangular. Now, what this artist has done is to process and internalize that view while juxtaposing a different approach onto a surface which is necessarily rectangular and inescapably so, the garage door. And this is a garage door which is being painted in a style evoking many of the elements which we see in Frank Stella's work, only the style of execution is much more sophisticated. Now, on that note, sir, the style of execution, I suggest that we adjourn to the place of action. Absolutely. You have to see this. Yes. Would you mind place. pulling the gate aside for the lady? The gate has been opened. Thank you, sir. And I will follow you. I just don't want to fall on you. Drop the gate up so that we don't have a problem. Okay. We are entering a gated artist community here. Okay. Is that gated or gated? Gated. Oh, gated. Okay. Um, wow, these steps are quite artistic. I'm sensing a, a very non-eccentric polygon, a very uh, quadrangle. Well, you notice that plebeian it's, nonsense it's that characterizes this whole plate. It's also in conjunction with these squares of concrete, which are different sizes and which happen to be squares. Yes. But that's only because this artist was able to master squares. And he is now doing a rectangle which has no choice but to be a rectangle. That's the nature of its, its being. It is fixed and <laughs> Excuse me. But you'll notice that the brush strokes are much stronger, more vigorous, more precise than anything we saw yesterday in Frank Stello's art. And there's also uh, much more of a uh, uh, even a paint distribution. Oh, so this should... Is it paint distribution or paint redistribution? Application, I think, Application. Is, the, is the proper word. You'll now, is this symbolic painting green, green over brown? Is there is there uh, something? The symbolism comes from a crazy lady who sold us some green shutters that we made a bat in the belfry birdhouse, which is on top of this new little schoolhouse of education. Nothing other than that old paint determined this color. So because there's no symbolism. Other than bats like this color. Oh. And antique primitivists. Do you, sir, consider yourself an antique primitive? No. I am much too young, even as I approach middle age, to even consider being an antique. So let's draw back and look at this belfry house. There are not yet bats in the belfry. Now, would you care to walk us through the belfry house, Eric? Well, it is a multiple level habitation, mm -hmm. a built environment, if you will, which consists of the lower shuttered, also known as louvered portion, which bats are known to frequent as housing, which then has a ceiling, which is the floor of the upper birdhouse portion. And this is being presided over by the driftwood goddess. I see. And so that's not a, a lightning rod. It might double as a lightning receptor. However, it's because not it is antlers. not conductive, For a it cannot properly be gazelle. considered a lightning rod. However, the whole project could be seen artistically as a lightning rod because it gave genesis to the lower work which is now being completed. Now, 
I'm seeing something radical brewing, brewing here in the introduction of triangles to your art. I mean, schoolhouse. There are existing triangles punctuated by semicircular portions in the board above the garage door. But they seem to be pointing up. Does that mean anything? Well, yes, it actually does. It is a classical element that most Americans have stolen from the Greeks. Oh. It basically is the symbol of what most people call democracy. Even though most people think voting democratic makes a democracy just because it comes from that word. I myself like the word republic a lot more because it starts with the letter R, which was my brother's name, Robert. And oh. so, Republican is much more fun. Well, and according the to the thing of the people. Well, not only that, if you, a, a number of prostitutes have been polled and have said that, in fact, yes, their Republican clients are more exciting than their Democratic clients. Well, that certainly counts for something in my book. Now, is this um, initial triangle on the uh, lower portion of the schoolhouse, in fact, observant or based on the golden ratio, the, the perfection that characterizes um, classical art? I think the experts would have to debate that. Can we get out of a tape measure? Allow the artist to have his preliminary opinion. Does your tape measure measure radical two? I don't believe it's one five radical two. That's the golden ratio. Well, I don't believe that my tape measure measures that. However, oh. I could go and obtain a golden rule and we could check with that. <sighs> well, my clock says seven minutes and eight seconds. I think that's a bit long for a video, so I'm going to sign off, and I'd like to thank, um, first, our tour guide, Eric Glendon Shea, noted art historian and critic, Delhi specialist, and last but certainly not least, our resident artist in residence, one James Durney. All funding supplied by a generous grant from the National Endowment of Runty. NER. Wow. Thank you.